Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Doggy! Hey there, big guy. And we are moving on to another quest with uh, Bonnie McFarlane here. I'm glad that you guys seem to be enjoying the first episode. We've got a lot of gunfighting and uh, other adventures to do in this series, believe me. Obstacles in our path. Oh, this is the race I was talking about. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't <laughs> be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. He's just the agreeable sort. Now comes the headache. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Alrighty. So you got your lookouts and whatnot for rustlers and such. It seems that uh, we could be doing something a lot more constructive than this. On the count of three. Three... Now, one thing that we need to be watching um, in terms of this race is the stamina bar of our horse, which is there on the left-hand side of the radar. Now, if I keep on pushing the horse to a certain degree, it'll eventually buck me off, so I really don't want to do that. So I have to be keeping my eyes on that bar as well as the race itself to make sure that Bonnie doesn't just leave me in her dust. So I tend to prefer to keep it at the very bottom of the blue. And that's about smashing the uh, A button every so often. And it does uh, vibrate when you're pushing the horse a little too much. So we have that working for us. And also pay attention a little bit to the radar to make sure that you are uh, on the right track. Because sometimes I have ran um, into zones I haven't, or onto roads that you're not really supposed to. And I think the first time I ever ran this race, I, uh, ah, see, just like that, I think I ran off this bridge, as a matter of fact, Isn't to my death. Jolly? Yeah, that's very jolly there, Bonnie. This is gonna be close. So about one, about every two seconds or so, I'd say, the smash the A okay button. That should give you ex give you exactly what you need. Yeah. But always be wary of the vibrations in your controls, and you should be good. And watch oh, out for those turns because they are doozies. And the horse will whinny, basically giving you the the final notice of I'm about to buck you off if you don't Come on. stop your nonsense. Now, Bonnie does tend to get a little bit faster here near the end of the race. Of course she does. Why wouldn't she? And we're also riding around the entire Let's ranch go. grounds, which is cool. Yeah. Kind of gives you a, a sense of how big this game is, because it is massive. So far, so good. 
I think we've got this in the bag. Unless I get bucked off at the last minute, which would be a shame. Woo! Awesome. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. There's John having a smoke, reveling in his victory. Now, the quest that now we have a quest on the radar to go talk to Marshall Johnson in Armadillo. The thing about it is, is we got another quest with Bonnie here, which I believe will take us straight to Armadillo, so we can get two birds with one stone. At least, I think that's the case. Yep, this is Armadillo, USA. And that'll uh, take care of what we need to uh, take care of. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. And now we got a buckboard. And we can push these horses as far as we want to, I believe. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. And there's Armadillo down there at the bottom of that canyon. But look at all this, guys. And we can go to almost all of it. Except for the high mountains, of course. But still. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go wake your snake. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I Ooh, man, look at that. that. Whoa. Apparently some stuff's not loading here correctly. Hold on. That's a bit bizarre. It's not like this all the time, I don't so think. This is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Oh lord. There we go. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Go to the doctor's office. So this is where we first came in. And I'm sorry for the little graphical errors, guys. My 360 is pretty old, so that might have something to do with it.
Talk to the doctor, purchase some medicine. Not feeling it. Howdy, mister. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, or pills, Thanks. come see me. Oh, more doggies. Hey there, buddy. Now, the general store in this town is very interesting because the guy inside is probably one of the characters you want to shoot the most. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Taking off the training wheels. And off she goes. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. And we got some honor, which is good. And we have another base of operations right here in Ye Old Saloon. Gentlemen, how y'all doing? I knew she was a now, I don't think we have a whole lot of money, you want to spend which is a shame. Because if you go back here, if memory serves, one of my favorite pastimes... I, oh, there's the general store guy. Need $25 to play, which I do not have, unfortunately. But we're going to get to play some No Limit Hold'em. Which, I would figure that you would be playing, like, traditional five-card draw. But, not the case. We also have Five Finger Filet over there, which is, uh, interesting. There's just a lot to do. But one thing that we do need to do for sure is go talk to the marshal. Because that'll get us some money. I'm thinking. Hey, you, the chicken headed guy, come over here. You just spit on me? You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. To accept the dual challenge, approach the challenger and press B. Alright. You don't know me, mister. Dueling location is on the map. Well, I guess we're about to get into our first duel. We'll see how this goes. Tobias Weldon. John Marston. And I would like to see the tutorial again. To draw your gun, use LT... Pull back on RS to move your hand toward the gun. Oh, okay. Oh. And there we are. Bad deeds are noted by the populace, and if you turn road agent, they will find many establishments close their doors to you. But this was a fair this is a fair fight. And I shall loot. And now we've got five dollars. We'll try not to spend it all in one place. Now let's go ahead and uh, chat with the marshal. Political realities in Armadillo. I always read that as Amarillo, though. Which I live about two and a half hours from. Now, the guy who plays the marshal in this, in terms of the model and how he acts, it always reminds me of Chris Christopherson, who's been in quite a few uh, westerns in his day. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Oh. 
You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? There he is. I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. Be good there, Jonah. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dick. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. I'm forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. It's our trust test. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. He's just sitting there like, oh, that was riveting. Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Company marshal to the saloon. Hopefully, no one will try and uh, start a duel. A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it. Better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. It's a fashionable hat, though. Mount out, Marston. Walton's our man. Here he comes. My noble speed. Kill okay, Walton to his hideout with Marshall Johnson. Don't kill him. Come on. That's no fun. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshall? And alive, he can still talk. Oh, Lord. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, he had a time warp there. Me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. 
Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Love those rock star glitches. Or it just might be my Xbox, I don't know. Either way, suits me. <laughs> I have a chuckle. Might have to just get myself a new 360, or a new-ish 360, and finally retire this old boy. You've Hold seen up, a lot Arthur. of battles. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. But now we get into the fighting part, and I've learned Deadeye Mark 1, or level 1. So this should make this quite easier. Looks like we got company, boys! All these guys with the fashionable hats. Holy Damn. crap. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Over here, pussy foot. Arson, Press RB to, to enter Come and exit to cover. Okay. Oh, I love the slide. Yeah, he's down. B to reload. To go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy. And it's like the assaults, American Gladiator. Can we? Whoop. There we go. Shoot him in the head like so. Now, uh, Deadeye is pretty much bullet time, and it's one of the most valuable things you can possibly have in this game. You fill it by doing shots without using Deadeye, so it's kind of an experience boost. Right? Down he goes. Now our quarry should be inside. Okay. There. Shot him in the kneecap. Does that work? You've discovered the Walton's gang outfit. I took some gunfire, but that's par for the course in John Marston's life. It looks like we unlocked an outfit by taking him alive. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Look at that poor guy on the back of the horse. With that fresh gunshot wound in his knee. Now then, we got twenty dollars, which means I can play some poker, which will be excellent. Check out things in here. Now this actually will play a little bit better, or this will play this area will play a part in a quest a little bit later in the game, I believe. Now I'm going to go ahead and loot all the bodies. Because, waste not, want not. It is the Wild West. People had to do what they could. Now, besides the main quests, there are also like little mini quests that are all over the place that we'll uh, discover as we get to them. But, uh, good stuff here. Now, what I'll probably do is ride back to Armadillo and check out the Dalton's gang outfit. Which said that they'll it allow us to uh, ride over into their hideout without being harassed, which is handy. Let's get our horse. Yeah, don't don't sit there all. You see that he was bowing up to me. Oh, actually, because it's a body. I can go ahead and start doing the uh, hunting challenge. 
because we can skin it, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for a bird, but we can get a feather. And you can actually sell those for some good money, I believe. So, oh look, there's an armadillo. I don't want to shoot armadillos though. They're awesome. So we will ride back and check out our outfits. And where we're going, we don't need roads. And we got some wild horses there. Now we can actually um, utilize a rope once we get it. I think we get that at the McFarland Ranch and then it becomes a permanent part of our inventory but we can use that to rope horses and tame horses and use them and, you know, check them out for different speeds and such. So, I feel bad for this horse running through all this cactus. Urge. I saw an herb. Now, we have to be careful doing this because there are coyotes and whatnot that will not hesitate to take you down if they think they can. Wild fever few. I love this black horse with the white mane. Looks awesome. So now you guys get kind of an idea about that. Let's head back to Armadillo if we can. What's going on up here? Save the treasure hunter. Okay, I can do that. I hope I'm shooting the right people. Hi. You good man. My name's Ju Folk. Very grateful. Oh, we got a piece of the treasure map. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. Outstanding. And that's another one of like the random things that'll happen. But this actually seems like a pretty good place to end the episode, guys. So I'll tell you what, we will end it here and we will get back to Armadillo and see what trouble that we can get into. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.